तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन स्वरों की करो विदाई Well, got something very interesting right here. So it turns out that there was apparently this uh, Buddhist activist over in India who apparently was dissing some of the Hindu deities and it created no small stir. I remember opening Twitter yesterday and just seeing the, the word Hindu gods, the, those words Hindu gods trending on Twitter, you know, and they were, they were the Hindus were in an uproar and a frenzy over this Buddhist activist or whatever, who, who apparently was in some kind of event where he was like mass converting. It was, it was like 10,000 Hindus to Buddhism and telling them to renounce Hinduism and all this other stuff. And by the way, this is not a promotion of Buddhism. Uh, Buddhism is, is a false religion as well, just like Hinduism and Islam. Um, but the reaction of the Hindus to this Buddhist activist dissing Hinduism and dissing the Hindu gods uh, is very interesting because it actually mirrors the kind of reaction you would expect from Muslims when somebody like I don't know, like maybe some French cartoonist makes a cartoon in Muhammad or something like that. You see, I've I've said this for quite a while now that when you get down to the fact of the matter, Hinduism is not any different than Islam. You know, Hinduism. You see, the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists; they're just Hindus. And if there was mass Hindu migration into Europe you'd have the same destructive results as the Muslim migration is having right now. Because it's just two sides of the same Luciferian coin, Hinduism and Islam. So, simple fact of the matter, but their reaction mirrors the reaction of Muslims when somebody makes a, a cartoon of their false prophet Muhammad. So here's some of the tweets. I, I just took screenshots of a couple of the tweets. Here are just three of them. Okay, there, there was all over Twitter. These are just three examples I picked out. And they're openly calling for censorship and him to be thrown in jail. See, see, just like there's no free speech under, you know, Islam, there's no free speech under Hinduism either. Okay, and this is proof of that. So in this one tweet, this uh, guy, with, this uh, Hindu guy on Twitter, he says, uh, Honorable Narendra Modi, the Indian Prime Minister, if true strict, act strict action should be taken against Zimato, I think that's how you say it, for mocking Hindu gods, uh, no one should be allowed to mock Hinduism. Few, uh, few IT companies are even busy giving... Are giving free coupons to Zomato and promoting it and he says please check boycott so essentially he's saying that nobody should be allowed to mock Hinduism you know against freedom of speech uh, how is that any different than what the Muslims over in Pakistan would do you know they call for censorship too you see biblical biblical the biblical Christian faith okay, not perversions like Roman Catholicism the biblical faith wants to live here unto the Saints yeah we don't like it when Jesus Christ is blasphemed however you know we're not gonna try to you know throw somebody in jail or kill somebody over that you know we would object to it, but we're not going to try to pass laws to, to hinder freedom of speech. But see, Hinduism, again, Hinduism and Islam are two sides of the same Luciferian coin. This next tweet uh, by this other, and, he's, and this is verified, this, this is actually a verified account saying this. He writes, uh, AAP Minister Rajendra, probably not saying that right, uh, Pal Gautam organized events to insult Hinduism and Hindu gods. He should be behind bars for blasphemy and rot in jail forever. But liberals and media who are outraged by Nupuru Sharma, Sharma's whatever you say it, uh, statement will stay silent on him because he enjoys liberal privilege. But notice that. He should be behind bars for blasphemy. I thought there wasn't a concept, because according to Wikipedia, there's like no concept of blasphemy in Hinduism. And you'll have Western Hindus say, well, you know, we don't really believe in the concept of blasphemy. But here you have this verified Hindu account saying that he should, this Buddhist guy should be behind bars for blaspheming the Hindu gods. You see, all of this could have easily come out of the mouth of, of Muslims over in Pakistan. See, because they're of the same Luciferian uh, mentality. This other verified Twitter account on this, this Hindu account, he says, no temple should be allowed, uh, should no temple should allow, allowed, weird grammar, no temple should allow any AAP members to enter in the temple until AAP won't throw out, until AAP won't throw out the minister who has spread hate against Hinduism and Hindu gods to convert people. Weird, weird grammar he's got on Twitter is 
kind of messed up. But but again, he's saying that they should throw it. They should basically bar him from entering any Hindu temples until they until this AAP group, I guess, throws out the Buddhist guy, the Buddhist minister, I guess, whoever who was basically dissing on the Hindu gods. It's funny because supposedly they'll they'll say things like, "Well, Buddhism came out of Hinduism." Well, uh, you know, there could be there could be some debates over that, but. The bottom line is, is that the whole their reaction to this Buddhist guy dissing and mocking the Hindu gods is no different than how the Muslims would re would react if you you know talk about Allah or Muhammad in, in a negative light, because again, Hinduism and Islam are of the same are just two sides of the same Luciferian coin. The Hindu terrorists are not terrorists; they're just Hindus, plain and simple. And if you don't like that, then that's that's not my problem, because you know as Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.